Cowboy Nation. Want to be able to talk to you all. Hope you guys can hear me. Y'all acting like Earl Thomas is trash or something. I went live on my gram, and a lot of people said like, hey man, Earl Thomas, all he gonna do is get injured anyway. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. The last great safety that we didn't had out there, and I'm gonna say this again. The last great safety we didn't had out there was who? Daryl Woodson. That was the Jimmy Johnson era. So I don't know how you guys going to think that Earl Thomas is trash. Now, I can say this right here. Yes, he's been injured, what have you. But even with an injured Earl Thomas, he had more interceptions than our whole DBs, out, our whole secondary out there. That's an injured Earl. So I don't know what, what the world is everybody thinking like getting to Earl Thomas is not the solution out here. It's more to do than just interceptions as well. It's all about alignment and assignment. It's all about knowing the knowledge of Chris Richard's particular defense. It's all about us also knowing the fact that we can also play a cover three scheme. Earl Thomas bring in that much of experience out there. Don't discount the fact that the guy going to bring in that type of history out there of knowledge. I know that a lot of people are having their reservations on some things, but you got to look at the whole entire picture. This team is one explosive guy away on the defensive side of the ball for being like, oh, wow, transcending Earl and X Woods. Yes, I have the belief that you can do this. You kick, you kick Xavier Woods into the inside. You move him into the inside. You can have Earl Thomas play the single high safety look. That will better your defense because we already know that when we played against the Rams, we look foolish out there because alignment and assignment. I guarantee you this, if Xavier Woods was closer to the line of, of the LOS on that last play, Jared Goff was able to cut around and get that 10 yards. See, Xavier Woods, he's instinctive, but also he still need help. I love what Jeff Heath can bring out to the table, but Jeff Heath is still a guy that's gonna be a rotational piece to me. He's a rotational guy, but if you put Earl Thomas out there, He's going to be able to direct your troops. He, look, put it like this. Earl Thomas was so good that he helped Byron Maxwell get a big contract. He helped Richard Sherman get a big contract. He helped out Chandler, uh, 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 Cam Chancellor get a big contract. That's all Earl Thomas. And guess what? I got facts and film and show, to show you guys out there just beyond highlights. Earl Thomas is the heartbeat of the team. So... I don't know where people get this notion that he's trash and he's horrible and he's going to be injury prone. Look, I'm going to repeat. The last great safety we done had was Darren Woodson. That's Jimmy Johnson era. Look how crazy that is. That's Jimmy Johnson era. I love what he can bring. Matter of fact, I say this all the time with Heath. He's a great guy that can cover well in space. Who, who got, he's faster to me than, than, than Xavier Woods. He's fast, sideline to sideline guy. But do he mess up at times? Yes. He, he, he prone to mess up. He's a rotational guy. He's not a, he's not a pro bowler. He's not a starter. It is what it is with him and his whole entire skill set. Shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate you all for tuning in. But just don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. The, to think that Earl Thomas is trash. The boy is far away from being trash. Trust me, you guys will see that he can help out the run. He can help out the passing lane. He can put people in the right directions and put people in the right places to make the play on the ball. That's what Earl Thomas brings to the table, guys. That's what he brings to the table, man. Let me see what else we've got over here. <laughs> yes, the Raider game. Yeah, he saved the Raiders game. <clears throat> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, uh, I don't think Dallas would chase him, though. I, I, <laughs> Earl Thomas, Jeff, he, 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 he. Number one safety in the league when healthy. Yes, I agree. With our defense, we could be unstoppable. Yes, Scott. Look, with our particular defense, we are one guy away from having the explosiveness. And also, when I was talking about this morning, I was talking about the fact that if you can go ahead and do this right quick, if you can, TV loud, eh? if you can do this, if you can do this with, with D-Law, a lot of people thinking that 
with D-Law, the, the franchise tag would be a horrible situation. And he'd be pissed off about a lot of things. No, what you do with D-Law, what's up, Go Cowboys, shout out to you. What you can do with D-Law, you can still slap the franchise tag on him. What that's going to do when you slap the franchise tag on D-Law, it's going to ultimately do this. Now you can regulate the exclusiveness with the contract negotiation. And if another team want to jump, then they have to put in one to two first round picks for him. That's how valuable that situation is with D-Law. So yes, I will go with the notion of going ahead and just, you go ahead and put that franchise tag on him because who else we gonna franchise? What else we gonna do with that money? Yes, to finalize, yes, Mr. Truckee, he's right on the point. Truckee, right on point. You put the franchise tag on him to give you a time, to give you more time to evaluate the situation, to evaluate the cons and pros, to do all those good things, man. Get more time to do all that stuff, man. Who else we got here? Yeah, cats acting like Earl Thomas trash, don't understand. That's what I'm saying about that G money. They acting like the boy is just horrible. Even in an off season, half of the season, half of the season, he still had more interception than our DBs. What's up? You what you want, boo boo? She want this right here? I'm playing daddy daycare right now. Let me see. But um, that's all the time, man, that I got for right now. Don't, don't jump on there. Come on, get you some chips. You don't want no chips? Oh, now nice, you want chips. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, they sleep on sleeping on him, man. Don't sleep on him, brother. Don't sleep on him. P -p 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 hey, the man. <laughs> you keep them all. You keep them all. That's what you do. You keep them all. You keep them all. You keep Jeff Heath. You keep. You don't get rid of Jeff Heath. You do not get rid of uh, Xavier Woods. You do not get rid of uh, K Kayvon Frazier. Kayvon Frazier, he did a hell of a good job during the uh, uh, special teams. He's like a, he dong near like a gunner. I think he's like number three or number two in total tackles on the special team. I'll keep Kayvon Frazier. I'll keep all those boys. Keep Kayvon as a rotational guy. Maybe when you go into your, to your, uh, I guess your run stop look, you bring him out on the field opposed to uh, Xavier Woods and you still keep Earl Thomas out there. You keep, you keep Xavier Woods. You keep all those guys, but you just add Earl Thomas. Your team will be better. Everybody will be better. And, and don't worry about the money. Well, we got over $53 million. We got a lot of money. Now, Sean Lee, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother show. But I just want to be able to tell those, man, that's out there who thinking that he's trash and thinking that he's horrible and thinking we got to get rid of these guys and that guy and worry about what, seven, eight million dollars, 10 million. I can, I'll say this, I think what Earl Thomas can do is exactly what Charles Woodson was able to do for the Packers. How, how many Super Bowl rings Aaron Rodgers got without a, without a good defense? I'll wait. I will wait. I will wait. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, you want that one though, uh-huh. Yeah, what's good, man? Appreciate everybody, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Uh, we don't have a first round. Yes, we don't have first rounds at all. <laughs> we don't. Thank you for educating the nation out here, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Let me know what you guys think about everything. Silver and blue to the day we die. All day, every day, we are gonna represent Let's get this thing going. All we got to do now, Cowboy Nation, is just wait, be patient. We will get this thing going. Hey, why do people want AB? <laughs> oh, but I don't know why people want AB. But I know somebody going to say, hey, Law, you just talked about Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas is a different type of guy than AB. AB, we saw him throwing upset tempers throwing things back at the quarterback. And this was against the, uh, the <laughs> as everybody say, Ben Roethlisberger, who's a better thrower and better passer of the ball than Dak Prescott. So we get all of that from A.B. against the Steelers. I don't want A.B. into the locker room because he's a nuance. He's crazy in the sense where it's just be too much negative attention. 
Unless we win it, right? <laughs> Unless we win it. But I, that's a can of worms that I do not want to uh, unfold. I do know that the Steelers were talking about they'll do a straight up trade for LVE, for AB. No, 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 no. To me, our wide right receiver core is okay. We are a run first team. We got to stick with that philosophy. We're a run first team. I will say you go into the draft and you'll draft maybe a Debo uh, Samuels or maybe you draft one of those uh, Anthony, uh, I think his name, last name is Jackson. You go get one of those boys. You get one of those guys to help out. But that's all the time, man, we got, man. I'm going to tune back into this over here. Really appreciate you all. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.